and that the fascia is everywhere, encompassing everything and differentiating everything. And so between the organs, you want to feel that sliding. Uh, actually, I'm going to ask you to come over. I'm going to do something. Come closer. Is that to feel, you put actually, four people to on either side, to put your hands here. Are you okay, bud? Put your hands here and feel how your organs can glide through your fascia. Rather than that I'm leave your hand that I'm moving my organs. I'm moving around them. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, That's the amazing. next group. And by the way, in case you do have the flexibility, be sure that your feet are tucked under your butt, that your feet aren't twisting your knees, okay? okay. So that instead of moving an organ like this, that you're moving, and you can feel it going into my legs or into my head, but playing with the organ. So again, a red versus an organ movement, but it's fascia. It's going through my arms and legs. You can do it this way as well, but you won't, it doesn't have as much of a into the leg as the other, but don't do anything where your leg is like that and twisting the knee. You have to, you could do one, you have to explore yourself to get into it. I mean, you don't just go into that posture. Can that release adhesions, what you're doing? Yeah, but I, you know, again, I could just be on my side and doing it. I can be like side. I can do it in a lot of different ways. I was just showing you the, my own practice of releasing adhesions. So take a few moments on your back or on your side, exploring that movement. 